<clears throat> What's up, everybody? Here with a review of the new Plano Edge jig box. So if you guys are paying attention to tackle storage, um, Plano at ICAST last year dropped this whole new series of tackle boxes. They're aimed at the high-end market. These tackle boxes are all between like $20 and $50. There's a whole series. They have lots of different types of boxes. They have big, small, spinnerbait, um, terminal tackle, regular 3700. They got 3700 deeps. <clears throat> they have all sorts of different boxes. But they're definitely going for a more high-end market. They're trying to get in on that Bass Mafia money. Um, now, I have some Bass Mafia boxes, and I have these. And I will say that these are way better. So um, if you're looking to make some high-end storage purchases this season, definitely look at these Plano Edge boxes. Now, one of my favorite features on these boxes I'm going to talk real quick about is the uh, single-handed latch system. So they came up with a whole new idea for the latch system on these boxes. And say the whole point is that you can open, close, and grab them with one hand really easily. So there's a groove underneath the latch where you can kind of grab it. So if you have them, you know, vertically in your tackle box or in your boat, you can lift them out. Then if you're holding up your compartment in your boat, if you don't have shocks, you've got a boat that doesn't have shocks in the lids. So you can lift the lid up, pull the box out, slap it down. You go like this. You push down your thumb, lift. Get in your box, shut it, hook it, and then just snap. So one-handed lid operation, which is cool. They also put a dry erase um, strip right here so you can use a dry erase marker and label your box. I'm probably not going to do that because I'm guessing it's going to get smudged. So I'm just going to make a label like I usually do. Also, one thing to note is there's these grooves. So there's these four um, grooves on the corners. Now when you have these boxes stacked on top of each other, there's a lip that goes all the way around the box and those grooves push perfectly on the lid groove. So the point is when you have these things stacked up on top of each other or um, pushing on each other, they actually kind of um, sit flush and then push on these outer rims and then you can the boxes don't move around. So you can have like a whole stack of these things and kind of push on them and they don't fall over. Which is kind of a nice little touch. So let's talk specifically about this jig box. Um, <clears throat> when I was looking at these online, I was very curious if the uh, if the the tongs or whatever these grabbers are, if they were hard or soft. So I'm gonna dispel all that mirror or that 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 myth right now, and that they are very hard. These things are uh, the hard plastic. They have no give in them whatsoever. They're not rubber lined or anything. They're just straight hard plastic. Now, one thing I've noticed, and this is very important if you're buying this box. If you have jigs that have a hand-tied skirt versus the rubber band to hold the skirt on, hand-tied skirts probably won't fit in this very good. You need some meat on the neck for these risers or whatever you want to call these things to grab onto. Now, I'm going to explain that in a second. <clears throat> so let's take a look at a... This is a jackhammer. This is a 3A South jackhammer. And these are hand-tied skirts. There's, a, there's no rubber band around the neck. So when you put these things in here, it's pretty loose it doesn't grab really good um, not as good as the rest of the jigs so just a just a note if you have a whole bunch of hand tied skirt jigs and you want to get this box I would actually probably just get a regular 3700 box I don't know if this box would be all that good because I think these things are gonna fly out and move around in here um, doesn't hold super great so let's try a half so there's a half ounce which is a slightly bigger um, jackhammer so I'll put the half ounce in here and yeah it's still pretty loose I mean it wiggles, it moves around, it comes out pretty easily. I wouldn't be confident running a whole bunch of jackhammers in one of these boxes. Um, so just something to note. However, regular old jigs that have the regular rubber band um, keepers uh, for the skirts, these things are snug. Um, so I'll do a test. So I have all these jigs in here. I'm gonna lift it up, sit down. Shake it, 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 shake it. Nothing comes out. It's very cool. Um, I've done that test a few times, and the only one that came out was one of these big uh, one ounces. So the way I have my jig box organized right now is I have all my three eighths here, um, all my half ounce here, and then a couple five eighths up here, and then some finesse jigs. These are all like quarter ounce, and then this side is all um, three quarter and one ounce. So these are the big jigs. So what's cool too is you can take and move around these risers. So if you want to move these over or you want to take one out or you can reorganize where these strips are 
they pop out. You can lift them, move them around. Very cool. They also come with a water wicking system. So I don't know how well this wing works yet, but it supposedly helps soak up any water that might be residual in your box. And you can move this thing around too. It's not stuck to one place. It just grabs onto any of the sides. So overall, um, I really like these jig boxes. I'm probably going to get another one for all my swim jigs because right now I'm only keeping my um, flipping and cover jigs in here. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get one for all my football head jigs because I got those in a separate box. But uh, if you're a jig guy and you want a really good jig storage system, I don't know if there's a better one out there than this right now. I've tried a few different ones. Um, nobody makes something that's this modular and this adjustable and the heads fit in here really, really tight. So, oh, one thing, here's a small um, quarter ounce swim jig. This is the Outcast Tackle. So I just wanna show you what a really small light jig does in here. Um, so if we shove this down in here, it goes in really tight because it's got that rubber um, gasket around, or that rubber band holding on the skirt. So just show you that that thing is in there. That's really firm, that's not coming out. And that's a very small, light jig so whether you got big one ounces three eighths or even little half ounces um, or little quarter ounces they're all going to fit in this thing really well and it's going to make organization for me a lot easier this year i like not having to comb through piles of jigs to find one specific one i want like if they're all piled together in a box i like knowing that this is my row i have different types of jigs i know what what's in here and then easy to open and shut so uh, this Plano Edge product line is a winner. If you're thinking about buying these, uh, you got the money and you want a little something nicer, um, do it. Thumbs up.